Blessings, Divine Reflection. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is I Dallas, and on this channel, I make videos about healing, magic, spiritual upliftment. So if that's something that interests you, please consider hitting subscribe and the notification bell so you never miss a video. Like this video if you like it and share it with anyone you think might find it useful. I am so excited for today's topic, which is about the 12 universal laws. Yes, <laughs> including the law of attraction. So if you are here and you're looking to strengthen your manifestations, this video is perfect for you and will empower you in, in new ways that the law of attraction can only do in a very specific way. But also if you are just here to strengthen your knowledge of esoterica and empower yourself through spiritual knowledge, then this is the video for you as well. So keep on watching until the end to hear about the 12 universal laws. So the first law of the universe is the law of divine oneness. Yes. I feel like if there was one word to describe hippies or just like people who are into spirituality is like the word oneness, like that we're all one man. Yeah, so law of divine oneness is basically God consciousness, right? It's the highest perspective of reality which is the understanding that the same energy that has created the universe is the same energy that has created worlds, that has created us <laughs> and all of nature, right? It is also the understanding that everything is in divine order and that there is an interconnectedness of all things. The law of divine oneness wants us to understand that we are all a part of a larger being. We are all a part of a larger consciousness and energy. Oneness should be a goal that we're all looking to achieve. It shouldn't be something that's like, you know, I hate that. I hate that. Let's normalize oneness. I love you. All right, and the second law of the universe is the law of vibration. And this is about, you guessed it, the idea that everything, that our energy is alive and that it's pulsating and vibrating. The reason why it's harder to see this physical energy is because our third eye is closed, but also uh, the denser the object, the slower the energy is moving. And the higher frequency, the faster the energy is moving. Our minds are built to experience reality just not on, not on these different dimensional frequencies unless we can tune in. The law of vibration though is also about the understanding that our thoughts, our words, our beliefs have a vibratory nature, have a palpable effect on our lives and that they too are vibrating at specific frequencies. So when I say the word love, when I say the word laughter, when I say the word freedom, when I say the word violence, these words all are vibrating at specific levels that affect your own frequency. There's a a raw emotion that's attached to these these words, right? There's a feeling that's attached to these words. And you can use this to your advantage by tapping into new feeling states that it is you wish to attune to by just your thoughts and words and beliefs alone. Okay, and number three is the law of correspondence, which basically is the understanding that all of reality is a mirror, that our reality is mirroring back to us how we feel about ourselves and also about how we feel about reality. So an example of this could be that if you have experienced some sort of trauma or wounding, our belief about that core wounding, like I deserve to have been treated like this. This is what I deserve. This is what I'm worthy of. I am not worthy of love, care, respect, so on and so forth. 
these are some core woundings that that when we carry around with us can only be amplified by our external reality because the mind likes to affirm itself and affirms itself by attracting the same experiences over and over again that's why we see similar experiences of that trauma coming back because we believe that that is what we deserve this law the law of correspondence is asking us to shift these core beliefs to shift our core wounding and to shift our perspective so that we can shift our outer reality as well so if you believe you're a bad bitch your external reality will only affirm that <laughs> and that's what we want more of okay right yeah okay and number four is the famed law of attraction right the law of attraction basically states that in order to attract what you want you have to be the thing that you want so if you want more abundance you have to realize how abundant you already are or use affirmations and dream it into reality and fully become it right um, if you want to attract love into your life you have to give love to others you have to be the love that it is you want to attract into your life so that is what the law of attraction invites us to do it invites us to play and it invites us to shift in this current moment in every moment into what it is that we desire and it's easier said than done but it's a lot of fun <laughs> as i'm sure you know the fifth law we are flying by these, by the way. I thought this video was going to be super long, but anyway. The fifth law is the law of inspired action. And I think it's my favorite law personally because it's like a very feminine law. I don't know why I whispered feminine. It's about deepening into your intuition and that voice within you that inner knowing and allowing yourself to be pulled in the direction of that inner knowing of your inner truth of your heart's desire the voice within you already knows what you need to do in order to become the version of you that you want to be your highest and greatest version and this law invites us to be open to to new ways of of doing things you know we have a we have an idea of what we should be doing and how it should be done but this voice within you already knows and it's just about deepening in and allowing the ideas to flow into you and most importantly taking action upon those ideas so yeah love that one all right, and number six is the law of perpetual transmutation of energy. And this law is essentially about the idea that energy is in a constant state of flux and at any moment can be shifted. This law is analogous to the butterfly effect. It is truly the determination of our will, of our thoughts, beliefs, and actions that allows us to determine our reality. Okay, number seven is the law of cause and effect, which is analogous to the concept of karma. And it's essentially the idea that what it is that you give, you shall receive in return. The energy that you put out is the energy that you receive right back to you. This law wants us to become aware of the energy that we put out into the world. Also, how our actions affect others and the grand scheme of things. Number eight is the law of compensation, which is essentially the idea that the more you give, the more you receive, and that what it is that you sow, you will reap the rewards of. You shall receive back the work you put in, which is a huge weight off your shoulders. All you have to do is follow your intuition and you'll be rewarded. Take action, you'll be rewarded. Give love, receive love. Like, this law is a reminder that our efforts do not go unnoticed by the universe and that they are seen, that they are appreciated, and that they hold actual value. All right, number nine. My incense is going out. It's been a minute. 
It's a lot to remember. <laughs> All right, so nine is the law of relativity. And this law wants us to understand that there is no concrete definition of things, good and bad, for example, right? This will vary depending on from person to person and will vary from situation to situation. And we can also view the events in our lives this way. This can also be applied when looking at the events in our lives. If we zoom out again, right, to this God consciousness, this law of divine oneness, we see that no matter what happens, the universe at large is kind of always in balance, right? It always maintains this homeostasis and is somewhat neutral in a way. And so the law of relativity invites us to, to shift the perspective that we have of our lives and prescribe new meaning, a meaning that is perhaps more helpful, perhaps makes us feel better and gets us out of kind of a victimhood, a victim mindset. All right, and the 10th law is the law of polarity. And this law essentially states that polarity exists. Of course, um, to varying degrees, but in all aspects of reality with varied expressions in the middle. And the law of polarity wants us to be okay with the flux that happens in our lives, right? The assured uh, variation of experiences that will occur along our journeys. It's all a part of life and it is life, again, wanting to just express itself and to experience new aspects of that same energy, two sides of, of the same coin. The universe wants us to expand our experiences. It wants to know itself in, in itself. The law of polarity is asking us to, to be okay with that. Number 11 is the law of rhythm or the law of perpetual motion and is essentially the idea that there is a natural progression to the cycles of life, to all natural life, that there is a natural growth pattern that occurs in all beings and is also a reminder to be present here and now and know that things will eventually change, will eventually move. There are cycles, there are seasons, and there is a natural progression to the way things are meant to be. And to be accepting of change and to know that change is on the way because change is a constant in the universe. And number 12, is that 12 on your end? Number 12 is the law of gender. The law of gender is about the understanding that there are masculine and feminine principles within every aspect of nature, of reality. And it invites us to see where we are giving too much and where we need to be more receiving or vice versa. It invites us to look at where we are exerting too much force rather than allowing what is to be and being. The law of gender it encourages us to see where it is in our lives where we might be imbalanced too much in either our yin or our yang and come into greater harmony, greater fullness, and greater oneness with the divine. <laughs> We did it! That is the 12 universal laws all laid out for you. I hope that you enjoyed and that you found this helpful, that you enjoyed the vibe. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share, comment, <laughs> do all the things. Also, check my description bar for my spiritual offerings. I am a healer and psychic intuitive and I believe I'm here to help you along your journey. So reach out to me. I'm offering free phone consultations right now. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye.